welcome back to biology class in the previous classes we discussed the circulatory system and its components but do you know that like circulatory system there is one more parallel network of millions of vessels all around our body this is lymphatic system so let's study about this lymphatic system today the lymphatic system is a drainage system or we can say body's own sewage system to remove unwanted toxins waste and excess water from the body lymphatic system is actually a subsystem of both the circulatory system and the immune system lymphatic system performs three main functions for the body it contains wbcs called lymphocytes which protect us from infections and diseases it acts as a one way drainage system transporting fluid from body tissues into the blood circulation it gets rid of waste products produced by the cells like circulatory system lymphatic system consists of millions of lymph vessels which carry a colorless fluid called lymph lymphatic system also include lymph nodes and also some lymphoid organs like thymus gland bone marrow spleen etc lymphatic system works parallel to the circulatory system as all of you know that the major purpose of circulatory system is to bring oxygen and nutrients to the body tissues and remove waste this exchange happens in small thin blood vessels called capillaries during this some amount of watery fluid called lymph filters from the blood capillary walls into the intercellular spaces or the tissue spaces and it can cause swelling if accumulated this is where lymphatic system comes into play it picks up the excess fluid and returns it to the blood or circulatory system on the way it passes through the lymph nodes which serve as filters cleansing the fluid before it reaches the blood stream lymph nodes are small bean shaped structures present throughout the lymphatic network look at the following video to understand the functioning of the lymphatic system did you know your body has its own version of a sewer system for removing unwanted toxins waste and excess water from the body this is called our lymphatic system like our blood circulation the lymphatic system is made up of millions of little vessels that branch all around our body but whereas arteries and veins carry blood the lymphatic vessels are much much finer and carry a colorless fluid called lymph our lymphatic system has three main duties one it contains white blood cells called lymphocytes which are used to fight infection two it acts as a one way drainage system transporting fluid from body tissues into the blood circulation three it gets rid of waste products produced by cells As blood circulates the body, plasma leaves the blood vessels and travels into the body tissues, delivering food, oxygen, and hormones to the cells. This plasma becomes tissue fluid and surrounds all our body's tissues. It then collects waste products, excess water, and toxins from the cells. 90% of this fluid passes back into the blood circulation. However, 10% of the fluid is left behind and is known as lymph. We therefore need a system to drain this lymph fluid so that we don't end up as a swollen fluid filled balloon hence the lymphatic system the lymph fluid drains into lymph vessels where it then travels to lymph nodes which are found all around your body to stop backflow the lymph vessels have one way valves and muscular walls that contract to force the lymph forward This is happening in millions of little lymphatic vessels in your body every minute of every day. The lymph nodes filter the lymph, destroying or trapping anything harmful. The lymph nodes contain white blood cells called lymphocytes, which attack and break down bacteria, viruses, damaged cells or cancer cells. 
This filtering and destroying is an important part of our immune system and stops nasty substances being fed back into our bloodstream which would make us sick. The waste products and destroyed bacteria are then carried in the lymph fluid through larger lymph vessels up to your neck where the thoracic duct empties the lymph back into the blood circulation. The bloodstream then removes the waste products from the body as it does with other waste. As well as the lymph fluid, our lymphatic system also includes a few organs, the spleen, thymus, tonsils and adenoids. They all have roles in helping our body fight off infections. Unfortunately, like any sewer system, things can go horribly wrong. Sometimes we get infections that cause the pumping to break down. This can cause your arms or legs to swell to huge proportions. Sometimes the debris or other bad substances can make it past lymph nodes. Sometimes cancer cells do this and spread the cancer to other parts of the body, which obviously isn't good. For now, we wish you all the best for your lymphatic health, which you can help maintain by drinking lots of water and exercising. So children, with this we complete our chapter circulatory system. I will be sending you the worksheet for this chapter now, which you need to do in your files and prepare your chapter well for the class test. Thank you and take care of yourself.